Hey, well, good evening. Happy day before the total solar eclipse. And welcome to Quick Bite History's live show. Tonight is Sunday night speed painting, where we do our best to have a little fun with history. First up, we will bring out our robots for a challenging round of speed painting. Tonight, we present the Hollywood A-list stars, circa 2010 edition. Then a brief cartoon intermission, and this will be premiering our new, brand new YouTube channel trailer. And finally, we'll add some oil to our robots for a second thrilling round of speed painting with the famous Walker's edition. So look forward to that. Now, please do, I see some people checking in already, so that's awesome. Please do check in, say hello. We certainly encourage you to participate with the answers up there on the chat. So now let's have some fun and I'll fire up the first round and we'll get going, okay? Now, most of you know the rules. We paint and you guys guess. I'll give some clues along the way and hopefully you'll get a few. <laughs> they start easy and they get harder as we go. So here we go. First clue, she began as a child star in a beloved sci-fi film about a boy and his extraterrestrial friend. Hey, what's going on? What's going on tonight? The production company is named after a fairy tale character with a poisoned apple. Hmm. Final clue. She starred in 50 First Dates and Charlie's Angels. There it is. We have the right answer up on the board. Good job. You got it before the fireworks. You get it after the fireworks. I don't know if it counts or not. Can you name another movie she was in? I don't know. I can't think of another one. 50 First Dates. I do remember that. Well, if you guessed Drew Barrymore, you were correct. And you got the first one right. So moving on. This gentleman started as a model before becoming a TV sitcom favorite. In the 70s show, he punked celebrities before investing in tech startups. You're on fire. You're on fire. Oh, there, you know, everybody's getting the right answer. I think this one was pretty easy, probably. This star replaced Charlie Sheen in Two and a Half Men. I didn't know that, actually. I guess I never watched that show. Did you guys watch that show? Two and a Half, two and a half Men. I um, but anyway, if you happen to have guessed Ashton Kutcher, you'd be correct. Next up, she debuted in a film opposite Jim Carrey, where his face wasn't the only thing that was green. Second clue. Known for her roles in romantic comedies, especially one involving very complicated, a very complicated wedding. You're on fire. You're on fire tonight. <laughs> I see the correct answer on the board. She voiced a royal ogre bride in an animated fairy tale. Who is this? Does everybody have it? She was also in Charlie's Angel, wasn't she? I don't know, maybe that wasn't it. Cameron Diaz is the correct answer. Yes. All right, here we go. This guy's in one of my favorite comedy movies. 
but I don't think that's a clue. He has a penchant for the ridiculous, including, oh, he, this is my clue, a model with a signature look, blue steel. Is that blue, is that it? I see the correct answer on the board. I think these are too easy for you guys. He's been a night guard at a museum where history comes alive. You guys remember those movies? I think was it Robin Williams in one? Yeah. He played Teddy Teddy Roosevelt. I think so. This star directed and played the lead in Zoolander. And my favorite war movie, Tropic Thunder. That was. You guys like Tropic Thunder? Who else like Tropic Thunder? Who else? Who else? I love Tropic Thunder. And Zoolander, of course, is a classic. Ben Stiller was the correct answer. Moving on, she rose to fame with her wit and charm in a teen comedy about the perils of a high school reputation. She swung into superhero scene as the love interest of a web-slinging photographer. answer on the board i'm gonna have to get harder i think the rockers are harder but we'll see how you do it keep doing with the movie star. you guys weren't nearly as good with the writers a couple weeks ago <laughs> she portrayed an aspiring actress in la la land la la land you guys see that everybody see la la land that was, that was kind of good it was a musical basically Well, if you guessed Emma Stone, you had the correct answer on that one. Maybe uh, maybe my clues are too easy. I'm just going to have to let you guys guess from the painting. <laughs> from writing and acting in a drama about a math genius to international espionage, he has done it all. His talent for getting lost on distant planets or running away as an American agent or oh, an amnesiac agent. That's right. An amnesiac agent. That's a hard word. Best known for playing Jason Bourne in the action uh, thriller. That is correct. You can see some of these uh, pictures are even pre-2010, right? A little younger version of all these guys. <laughs> all right, Matt Damon is the correct answer, of course. All right, let's see how you do on this one. Guess right now on the painting. Yeah. <laughs> no. She began as a child star and transformed into a superhero with a knack for espionage. Known for her distinctive voice, which she lent to an AI in critically, a critically acclaimed film. Her character has a red hourglass symbol and is a key member of the Avengers. Oh, see, it's taking you longer on this one. Either that or maybe there's delay on the internet. <laughs> Who's got it? Who knows? I guess the picture is a little deceiving. It's a little younger version. This is indeed Scarlett Johansson. Scarlett Johansson. The painting didn't do her justice. All right, next up, this star went from rapping about summertime to battling aliens in New York. He played a charming matchmaker and superhero trying to clean up his act. He is known for saying welcome to Earth before punching an extraterrestrial invader. 
Oh, I see the correct answer up on the board. The Prince. The Prince of Bel Air. Wasn't that right? Or is that, is that a different guy? I think that was, was that him. I think that was him. That's right. Will Smith. Most famous for going on stage and slapping the presenter at the Oscars. All right, next up. From legally conquering Harvard to walking the line as a country music star. She's a Southern belle who started her own production company. Her character proved being blonde is more than a hair color in a courtroom. I don't know what that means exactly. I see the correct answer in multiple places on the board. Very good. That is a, the correct answer. Reese Witherspoon. Reese Witherspoon. Okay, let's see how you guys do on this next one. There are a couple hard ones lurking. Lurking. I doubt if it's this one. We'll see. He brought laughter on Saturday Night Live before becoming a festive elf in New York. His humor often involves outrageous outfits and professions. From Anchorman to Figure Skater. Do you remember the Figure Skater movie? Oh my gosh. That's correct. That is correct. You guys have it. What's the last clue? He loves to yell, stay classy. He has affinity for jazz food. Anchorman is a classic comedy for sure. He was good in the, oh, what's the one where the, the guys have the frat house and they put sand in the apartment? <laughs> Can't remember that one. Very funny though. That's right, Will Ferrell. Sorry, Night Live. All right, next up, she went from the 70s to voicing a cynical daughter in an animated family sitcom. She often plays the love interest in rom-coms, including one with Justin Timberlake. She was a wicked witch in the land of Oz and explored a complex friendship with Natalie Portman. Who knows this one? Oh, I do see the correct answer up there. Sorry, I missed that part first. I see it. She is, in fact, married to Ashton Fisher these days, right? They have kids and stuff. She doesn't work anymore, I don't think. Anyway, if you guessed Mila Kunas, that is correct. That is the correct answer. Okay, this next one might be a little harder, mostly because the painting is very poor. <laughs> I programmed the robots. A dashing TV doctor who made the jump to oceans, ice, and space expeditions. He directed a film about a game show host turning politician. That is, oh, you guys are right on top of this. The robot painting didn't throw you. Known for his Nespresso ads and his role as a suave casino robber. That is correct. You are correct. You are correct. Can you name another movie he was in? He's got another movie. He's been in everything, right? 
What was that crazy space one? With the very offbeat. George Clooney is the the correct uh, correct answer. All right. Moving on to number thirteen from video game adventurous adventurous to a spy who made anyone wanted. <laughs> she directed war dramas and voiced a fierce tiger mother. This star has a penchant for playing strong women like a misunderstood fairy with horns. <laughs> yeah, you guys know. These are pretty famous A-list actors, right? I kind of thought since that last writer one was so hard for everyone, I had to go a little easier. <laughs> had to go a little easier with this, right? All right, well, if you guessed Angelina Jolie, that was the correct answer. Moving on. A versatile actor from a mathematician fighting personal demons to a Roman general seeking vengeance. <laughs> yes, it, this one is me. He sailed the high seas in search of a French privateer. He declared, Do you not entertain in the Colosseum? The trick is, though, you got to remember the actor's name. <laughs> You can't just remember all his characters. And no, it's not me. There it is. I see it. I see the correct answer on the board. Misspelled, but I see the correct answer. Russell Crowe. Russell Crowe is, is correct. All right, this one might be a little harder. She's twice an Oscar winner, first for portraying a boy in a tragic real-life story. She's stepped into the boxing ring to prove her mettle. She fought for her dreams and faced adversity in the ring. In Million Dollar Baby. It's the one with Clint Eastwood, where he was the director. I think he started it too. They all, they all won all the awards in one year for this, right? Who remembers? That is correct. Correct. Hillary Swank. The photograph looks a little better than, than the other piece by the robots. All right, next one up. From fighting zombies to being a suave criminal mastermind. He's captivated audiences. He's aged backwards. And Trojan warred his way through Hollywood. He played a charmingly eccentric gym employee in a dark comedy about spy. This is a little different picture, for sure. <laughs> there you go. Jan's back on the board with the winner. <laughs> you beat him out that time. That was good. It's kind of a a little bit slicker picture of him, isn't it? Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt. I was, of course, the right, correct answer. All right. Let's see you get this next one. He's played an assassin in, oh, I don't know what this word is. Bruges. Bruges. 
and doubled and troubled recruit in a science fiction action film. This Irish actor has fought battles in historic epics and dystopian futures. Who knows? He checked into the Lobster Hotel where single people must find love or face transformation. I don't know what they're talking about there. Who's got it? Oh, I do, I do see, I think, maybe the correct answer up there. Oh, I do, I do, okay, I do. Colin Farrell is correct. You know, he didn't do much for a little while, but it seems like he's kind of back doing some things now. Uh, anyway, let's see you get this next one. A master of the craft. He can play both heroic leader and a notorious cannibal. <laughs> I gave it away. He has portrayed a brilliant mind with a taste for baba beans and a nice Chianti. I have to, have to say that one better. I like to have it with a nice Chianti. The knighted actor is best known for his chilling role as Hannibal Lecter. That is indeed correct. We have the correct answer up on the board. And that was number 18. Now this next one is kind of hard because the painting is so bad. So I'm going to go slow with the clues. We have two more. Two more. Two more A-list Hollywood stars. And if you guess Anthony Hopkins, of course, you had the correct answer on that one. Next up. She played a girl caught between the affections of blank and blank. She's gone from indie films to portraying an iconic princess of people. She was blank blank in a series that sparked a global phenomenon. Uh, I left a couple of clues out. This one a little harder. Who knows who it is? I think I figured out how to how to stump you. Okay, she between the affections of a vampire and a werewolf, and she was Bella Swan. Who knows the answer? Kristen Stewart. Kristen Stewart. Of course. I had to I had to cheat to beat you. Anyway, here we go. Last one. He danced his way into the hearts with a rumba and a business deal on Hollywood Boulevard. This silver fox played a ruthless lawyer in Chicago. But he's got it. He's known for playing an investor who falls for an unlikely Cinderella in Pretty Woman. I do see the correct answer on the board. All right. Well, you guys did awfully good at that whole round. You guys had almost everything. Richard Gere is the correct answer on uh, uh, this one. And now what we're going to do is we're going to have a little intermission cartoon, kind of like the old days where they used to have cartoons at the intermission. And then we'll get right back into the second round of speed painting. And this, this cartoon is my new channel trailer for Welcome to Quick Bite History. Unearth the past, 
one quick bite at a time. Join us in exploring the captivating world of history through short, engaging, entertaining videos and live stream game shows. Quick Bite History is here to make history accessible, exciting, and a bit more fun. Powered by the innovative blend of David Hansen Art and Design's creative magic and cutting-edge AI tools, we craft stories that are not just told, but vividly painted, allowing you to step right into the heart of history. Each video is a mini celebration of the past, where facts meet fun and learning becomes an adventure. Join our celebration of the past. Not just a channel, we are a vibrant community for anyone who believes that understanding our history can be one of the greatest adventures. I'm back. Anyway, so I put that on my channel for people that haven't subscribed yet. They'll see that little video. It's kind of a little tease. Maybe they'll maybe they'll subscribe. Here we go. Next edition. This is famous rockers. Remember, famous rockers. This Irish frontman is also known for his philanthropic efforts around the globe. Who knows? He wears iconic tinted sunglasses and has been nominated for a Nobel Peace Prize. I see the correct answer up there. The lead singer of U2, he co-wrote With or Without You and Beautiful Day. Everybody know it? Everybody got it. Bono from the band U2 is the correct answer. Everybody anxious to see the sphere in Las Vegas? That would be fun to go see. Anyway, next up. His short but influential career started in the 1950s, leaving a lasting impact on the music industry. He was known for his horn rim glasses and as a pioneer of rock and roll. That'll Be the Day was one of his biggest hits before a tragic early demise. Who knows? I see the correct answer on the board. Famous rockers. We paint. Our robots paint. And you guess. Who is this famous rocker? If you guessed Buddy Holly, you did guess correct. Moving on to the next one. This Seattle-born guitarist revolutionized the use of electric guitar in rock music. His rendition of the Star Spangled Banner at Woodstock remains iconic. Known for setting his guitar on fire on stage and for his hits like Purple Haze. Everybody knows this one, yeah? That's correct. I see the correct answer on the board. Amy. Amy. If you haven't seen my Laurel Canyon video, go watch my Laurel Canyon video on my, on my channel. Pretty cool. Jimi Hendrix is, of course, the correct answer. Next up, he was a poet and leader of a band named after a literary reference <clears throat> to the doors of perception. 
known as the Lizard King. I never knew that. He had a charismatic but unpredictable stage presence. This lead singer of the Doors was part of the infamous 27 Club. Now, I don't know what that reference is. Maybe you guys know. 27 Club. I'm not sure what that is. Let me know if you know what the 27 Club is. But yes, I do see the correct answer up on the board. That is the correct answer. This indeed is Jim Morrison who met an early demise. That'll be the the after quiz question is how many of the ones we did admit an early demise. <laughs> this next one's still alive. This rocker is known for his long tongue and demonic stage persona. He spits fire and blood on stage as the bassist guitar of the band known for their makeup and pyrotechnics. That is an incorrect answer. <laughs> it's not a bad guess, but it's not correct. The co-founder of KISS he is also a reality TV show and entrepreneur. There you go. I see the correct answer. band kids who are the four guys four guys it's easy enough this happens to be gene simmons who are the other three guys anybody remember no that'll be the extra extra credit quiz a performer known for his flamboyant stage presence and four octave vocal range he wrote Bohemian Rhapsody, one of the rock's greatest songs of all time. The charismatic frontman of Queen, he sang about champions and wanting to break free. And I'm sure you all know this one. Did everybody see the, the movie, the Bohemian Rhapsody movie? It was, a, it was a good movie for sure. Definitely told the whole story. Who knows? Who's got this one? Everybody remember his name? Is there an internet glitch? <laughs> Are you guys just being dumb? <laughs> Freddie Mercury is of course the correct answer. Freddie Mercury. Okay, this one might be a little harder. Her music videos were among the first to be aired on a new channel dedicated to music in 1980s. MTV, of course. A classically trained singer turned rock icon. She hit us with her best shot. Hit us with her best shot. Who knows? This four time Grammy winner saying love is a battlefield and heartbreaker. I do see the correct answer up there. Good job. Good job. Love is a battlefield and heartbreaker. I always like a lot. Kind of a driving rock and roll, you know? Pat Benatar. Pat Benatar is the correct answer. All right, moving on. She fronted a band that merged punk rock with new wave and disco. Holy smokes. Known for her platinum blonde hair, 
and her bands hit Heart of Glass. As the lead singer of Blondie, she rapped in rapture and beckoned listens, listeners to call her. Call me. Call me. Remember that? <laughs> That's correct. And yes, Blondie is the band. Does anybody remember a second person in Blondie? That's pretty hard, right? Who can name a second band member in Blondie? Is Brad still around? He might might be able to do that. This indeed is Debbie Harry. Debbie Harry. All right, next up, Famous Rockers. This is number nine. He rose to worldwide fame in the 1960s as the drummer for, from a band, for a band, from Liverpool. He sang Octopus Garden and Yellow Submarine with his bandmates. He was the least controversial member of the Beatles. He also had a successful solo career. I'm sure you know this gentleman. Although he looks a little bit like one of his bandmates in this picture. They all kind of had the same hair at the time. That is the correct answer. But who and who's the other bandmate that he looks a lot like in this picture? Ringo Starr is, of course, the correct answer. And his bandmate that he looked a lot like is George Harrison. All right, known for his guitar riffs and hit, and as the immortal co-founder, founder, excuse me, of the legendary rock band, he's often seen with a cigarette and a five-string Fender Telecaster. His riffs on "I Can't Get No Satisfaction" with the Rolling Stones are iconic. Everybody remembers who this is. These guys are still touring. <laughs> and the fact that they're still alive. I think, I think one of them might have passed away a while ago. They're drummers or something. But the rest of them are all still going strong. That is, of course, correct. Can you name the other Rolling Stone band members that are still with us? Keith Richards. Keith Richards. It's the correct answer. All right, next up. A peace activist and member of the most influential band of the 20th century. He wrote the song Imagine. A song that became an anthem for peace and hope. Unfortunately, he was assassinated in 1980. He was a founding member of the Beatles. I guess this is for this. This these clues are for younger people that <laughs> have no idea who this is. Can you imagine these kids now have no idea even who this is. Oh my gosh! You've got the correct answer. I have a funny picture of him, I suppose. I don't know what year that would have been from. This is indeed John Lennon. Married to... Who remembers who he was married to? All right, this one might be harder. His guitar playing is a blend of Latin-infused rock, jazz, blues, salsa, and African rhythms. Performed a legendary set at Woodstock 69, known for his smooth guitar solo.
this rock and roll hall of famer has hits like smooth and black magic woman who remembers who this is i've always liked this band or this guy the band's name is actually his surname the hell there you go you know his first name remember his first name it's charlie in english so in spanish it is <laughs> i'm sure you have it carlos santana is correct that is right all right jan we're ready for you known as the prince of darkness he was the lead vocalist for a pioneering heavy metal band. He had a reality show with his family and was infamous for biting a bat on stage. This is uh, clues are helped by chat GPT, so they're a little cleaned up. For you. He fronted Black Sabbath before embarking on a successful solo career. There we go. Sometimes you get the answers out of order, but that's okay. That's not a problem. <laughs> we always come around. All right, this next one's gonna be hard. Let's see if you guys get this one. Looks like Brad's schedule, he did get this one. She loves rock and roll. Putting another dime in the jukebox, baby. With a signature leather look, she started with the Runaways before her black hearts. Known for hits like Bad Reputation and I Love Rock and Roll. Oh, quick, you quick there, sis. And had it right away. <laughs> now we just get to watch the robot paint. Or can you name another band member from the Runaways, perhaps? Have you guys seen any of the? There's been a movie about the Runaways. It's a little bit dark. A little bit dark movie. It was, a, it was a weird time, and they were one of the first women bands, of course, in LA in the Valley. <laughs> rough scene for sure. Joan Jett is indeed the correct answer. Joan Jett. All right, we got five more of these things. Next up, he's known as the Motor City Madman for his intense guitar skills and energetic performance. A vocal advocate for hunting and gun ownership rights. He had hits like Cat Scratch Fever and Strangle Hold. Who's got? You guys know this one. There it is. You've got it correct. One of the Detroit guys. I mean, one of the, I can have a whole category on guitar players from Detroit. <laughs> yeah. Jan doesn't like his politics. That, that's another clue. That's, that's an extra clue. <laughs> Ted Nugent. Ted Nugent is correct. All right. This one might be a little harder. I'm sure Fernando can. He's the lead vocalist of a Seattle-based band that became one of the most popular grunge bands in the 90s. He's known for his deep, powerful voice on hits like Alive and Better Man. You guys know this one? I hate to give you the last 
clue until you guess. Oh, there it is. I knew Fernando knew that one. As the frontman of Pearl Jam, he's known for his activism and distinctive vocal growl. Vocal growl. Okay, I'm going to stump you on the next one. Brad's not here. I don't, I don't know if Fernando was too into punk. Well, let's see. Maybe. So Eddie Vedder is, of course, the correct answer. And it was the band Pearl Jam. Great band. All right. Let's see you get this one. This punk poet laureate used rock and poetry in her work. She is best known for her album Horses and a hit co-written with Bruce Springsteen. Because the night belongs to lovers and to inf and this influential rock artist. I'm sure, I didn't read that clue correct. Because the night belongs to lovers, to this influential rock artist. That is correct. I guess Fernando did know that one. <laughs> Smith is indeed correct. That was probably my most obscure one. Now, the next one's a little bit obscure, but not as much. This was actually one of my favorites when I was going to college. A leader of the 1960s avant-garde with his band managed by Andy Warhol. His solo work includes a song about a walk on the wild side and life in New York City. As the front man of the Velvet Underground, he influenced generations of musicians. Influential to generations of musicians. There you go. That is indeed correct. Correct answer on the board. One of my favorites, Lou Reed. Lou Reed. Velvet Underground. All right, two more. This one's pretty easy. His distinctive voice and energetic performances make him one of rock's most charismatic frontmen. He's a rolling stone who moves on stage like nobody's business. His lips are almost as famous as his music. It's like paint it black and sympathy for the devil. Who is our number 19 famous rocker? That is correct, correct. I see the correct answer. You both got it at almost exactly the same time. Kind of hard for me with the bad vision though because you're both green icons on my board your green chat icons <laughs> mick jagger is indeed the correct answer rolling stones okay last one let's see how you do jan probably doesn't like this guy either there's a clue this artist blends country rock and rap and is known for his American badass persona. I know he's really good buddies with John Daly, the famous golf. He shot his garden with hits like Bawi Daba, Fernando may know that one, and Cowboy in the late 90s. He loves to represent his Detroit roots 
in songs and often sports a fedora. I do see the correct answer up there. There was no beating you guys tonight. You guys had them all. Okay, I was too easy tonight. It was too hard with the riders and A-list stars and the famous rockers were just a little too easy for you. So we're going to have to toughen them up next time. But anyway, I do appreciate you being here. Um, we will be back again uh, every both Sunday nights and Wednesday nights. On Sunday night, we try to do just speed painting rounds like we did tonight. And on Wednesdays, we try to be a little bit more of a variety program. So again, thank you guys very much for being here. Come back every time. Go watch my long format videos. That's the best thing you can do for me. Comment on my videos. That's awesome. Anyway, thanks again and good night.